In this tutorial, I'll show you how to make a 3D tunnel transition just like this. So first, we're going to pre-compose all of our clips. We're just going to pre-compose all of them. Okay, now we want to make our first zoom out transition from this clip. So what I would do is 100 and go all the way back to the clip, set it to 50. 50 it doesn't really matter then you're going to search our motion tile and you're going to put motion tile on here select mirror edges and type in 600 by 600 but this doesn't look good so what we're going to do is we're going to f9 both of these keyframes we're going to open the graph editor and we're gonna make something like so yep okay so now we have the first part of our clip done i might even change it a bit okay so now we want to continue the zoom out transition how we're going to do that is we're going to first i want you to make a camera uh we'll need the camera later but it's good to already have the camera so um what we're going to do is we're going to mask out the uh the circle so something like so i guess Okay, um, now we're gonna make this a 3D object camera because that's where you should do it. And then what you do is you do the zoom one. So you go camera options, zoom. Uh, you zoom all the way in. So something like so and now wait there's two keyframes we want to delete one of the keyframes okay um now what you're gonna do you're gonna go to the end of the clip and just zoom all the way out i'll zoom out by like so maybe even more something like this and now you have something like this uh we'll make it a lot faster we'll make a graph we'll make it something like so okay now we have the graph ready so now that we have the uh, zoom out we're gonna make the tunnel effect so how we're gonna do that we're gonna make a circle no fill only a stroke the stroke doesn't really matter it depends on what color your edit is or what color you like so we're gonna make the circle uh, I would move it something like this. I would cut it up to the middle uh, to this middle clip. So it doesn't show on the other clips. Gonna okay, and now gonna put a 3D cube on it. Uh, as you can see, it, uh, it moves with the camera now. Gonna duplicate it, and you're gonna make this one bigger. And then duplicate it again make it even bigger duplicate it one more time make it even bigger and last time okay so now we have the tunnel effect ready i would make it actually even bigger okay yep um now, what I would add is a no object. I cut it up to the clip's length or around the clip's length. And now, mm, now that we have aligned everything, you're gonna uh, link the camera to the null. And then right over here, you're gonna set the scale of the null. And I make it bigger or smaller in this case. 
to make the zoom out transition you're gonna f9 you're gonna go into the graph uh, you're gonna graph it something like so now it stutters because it's not all the way at the end we do want it all the way at the end now you want to move it a bit back as you can see okay and now to make this even more smooth we'll make a a um a zoom out we're gonna add motion tile from our first clip to here then we'll go to somewhere around here and you're gonna set the value to 100 f9 it graph it with the graph you're gonna do something like so okay and now you get something like this um something i would definitely add is d plus so let me do that uh deep glow is a plugin so you if you don't have the plugin um well you cannot really add it i'll just do the normal deep glow i don't i will not change anything about it uh what i would also add is a particle so what you would do for that is you would go to new solid a black solid make it the width and the height of the uh, edit move it here make it eclipse length okay um and now you're gonna search up particle world cc particle world uh okay mm. So radius X, we're gonna set it to something like so, and radius Y. Um, I'm make it spawn less particles. We're gonna make it a 3D object as well. Uh, then we'll just have to make it bigger again. Uh, never mind, I'll actually not make it a 3D object. Now you have something like so. Uh, then go into particle and change the color. Uh, I'll change it to white because I've made everything white in here. Okay, and then last thing I would add is deep glow. So this is the finished project. If you've made everything step by step. Thank you for watching, uh, I'll upload more tutorials soon and I hope you subscribe, peace.